Oh, welcome to my channel. Welcome back if you're a current subscriber. Welcome if you're new. We're going to go through now my vendor empties and unempties. I'm going to do my two baskets that are laundry room and upstairs here. And then I'll do the separate one because, and then I'll organize those a little better. So I did put this was um, probably right here and I stuck it in my candle crock. So I finished this from Bath and Body. It's Palo Santo. Um, it was more light performance. I don't know why, but that one was finished up ghoul friend, um, my husband's bathroom. All right. And then I did winter woods from scuba bowl tart wax, which is crackling birch, juniper berry, twigs and berries. This is not my cup of tea. It's, it's a little bit mask. I don't know. Why do I get masculine from this? I do though, but it is kind of a fresh masculine. It wasn't bad by any means, but just, you know, watching my channel, I'm just a big bakery lover and I'm not like more clean fresh. So it was great. It performed very well. As you can see, I didn't use very much, but it did very, very well. I love her scoopable. I, I just have great luck with scoopables. I bought this in August of 2022. Great. Okay. So I'm going to talk to you. You guys, I've shared in multiple videos now that when I dump out, so I dumped this out and I wiped this, okay? So then I have my candle crock. It is 24 watts. I did check on my candle crock. So then I put this in the candle crock, right? And then I take some wax. This is Rose Girls. I put it in here and then put it inside my candle crock. If you don't know what a candle crock is, I'll post a uh, photo here. I bought mine on Amazon. I can post the link below. Um, so I put some in here and then I cut up this in fours and then I put in, in my mini warmers in my husband's bathroom and laundry room. I stuck one of these. This is almost two years old. I didn't think this was going to perform because it's two years old, but it was insane for three days. Um, it's Rose Girls Mrs. Claus nightgown. I love this night. Like I just told you, I don't like fresh scents. This is Macintosh apple, garland and soft laundry. So I'm going to work on finishing this just because it is almost two years in February. This will be two years. These are her chunks that she did. I absolutely love these. I wish she would do these again. Um, I This just did so stinking well for three days. I did not have to replace that wax with using that method. I, it, it's working for me. I'm still going to do it. Okay, Appalachian Mountain from L3. I can't remember what this one was. I think it was more clean. So that's why I did it in my um, husband's bathroom. Um, so I've been working through Dessa's Advent. Obviously it's done now. So this was Christmas Tree Farm. This was really good. This is Fresh Forest of Christmas Trees, Pine, Fraser, Fir, Balsam, Evergreen, and Birch. She has a pre-order, I think, on the 14th. And she does have some of these scents in there. And I'm going to look through them and probably order some. That was the scent for the 24th. This was for the 18th. This is Smoky uh, Mountain Berries. I didn't like this just because this isn't, it was more berry. Fraser for Bayberry, Holiday Berries, Vanilla. It was more berry to me. This one was from the 19th. This one, this one was good. I've had this before. This is Fresh Fallen Snow, White Birch, Warm Winter Woods, Balsam and Cedar. If you want to feel like you're walking through a cold woods, this is great. So good. Okay. So that's my little basket for my husband's laundry room. Um, okay, now this one's I did all upstairs, okay? So I'm gonna try to do, if I can vendor, but if not, I won't, okay? So Better Homes and Gardens, sugar cookie, buttercream, phenomenal. I did, I have three regular size warmers and a mini. So I use four cubes upstairs. This is so darn good. Um, I did Sensational's Candy Cane Ice Cream, which, I think Angie asked me about what I thought about this one. This is not that great. It's really an odd candy cane bakery scent. Um, I, it, it doesn't, I don't know what this is. It like, you just kind of get a sweet bakery. I didn't feel like it was overly candy cane. I did not enjoy that one. Um, yeah. Okay. So these don't have labels on them, but last year my friend and I, split the bricks and instead of sensi holiday bricks instead of giving me any of the four bricks she literally threw them in bags she didn't give me one brick so one of these was like the orange pomegranate and then i don't remember what this one was i didn't enjoy either of them that's why i did them upstairs <laughs> but it was enough for two separate worms and i was happy to finish those so those bricks are gone i only have the eggnog one left 
which I'm kind of sad. I should have put it in my club because I do kind of enjoy it right now, but whatever. You can't go backwards. Okay, this one I did here was L3 pumpkin pie eggnog brown sugar pound cake. It was fine. Here's the thing. You warm some of these and you're just like, okay, it was good, but I don't know. You know what I mean? Like L3 does so many different scents. It's just, it really has to be outstanding because so Ava's Country Cover, Mrs. Claus. I did enjoy this one. This is kind of a minty bakery scent. And then I finished I Smell Snow, which is a great um, outdoor fresh kind of smell. Like basically like you're walking through uh, the wind, the snow by the trees. I really enjoyed that one. And then Gingerbread Man from Sugar Melts by Stacy, which was, it was a good gingerbread. But Hayden Rowe is still one of my favorites for gingerbread out of all the vendors I've tried. So, and I don't know if I shared this. I did uh, Candy Cane Sugar Cookies and then Candy Cane White Elephant Exchange. Both of these were really good, I guess. I probably enjoyed the Candy Cane White Elephant Exchange more. Actually, I would repurchase this one. Um, and then I did Ash ashes scents and i think it's lavender and fig now or something this was so strong it was a big shape from her advent last year it's birthday cake salt water taffy boardwalk taffy this is really good i did it upstairs here so i thought the kids would enjoy that in my studio i did autumn elephant which is elephant ears green apple caramel this was great but lured isn't open right now so you can't get that anyway um and then rainbow melts i did have a few from last christmas that i'm using up um, and this was uh, Sweet Season, which is Sugar Cookie Royal, Gingerbread Applesauce, Vanilla Butter Fudge. Um, finished these three, um, Pumpkin Pecan Waffles Body Cream, Berry Waffle Cone, and then my favorite, Twisted Peppermint. Finished those. Okay, let's get into the wax. So from Southbound, I did another gingerbread blend. This is Gingerbread Cake Puffs Frosted Sugar Cookies. This was a beautiful souffle that she decorated. I did this in my open concept. It was more medium. It was good, just not, like I said, not a favorite gingerbread of mine. Um, and then a favorite of um, coffee blend from her is sugar cookie latte, which is freshly baked sugar cookies with sweet vanilla, roasted coffee beans, and sweet cream. It was strong for eight hours, but I did take it out at two because my I put this in for my husband in the morning and then he went ice fishing, so I changed it out. Okay, destination, or Dessa's. I have quite a few from her um, sampler as well, or her advent. Here is Destination Wax Vanilla Birch. This is a great vanilla, white birch, Madagascar vanilla, and sandalwood. I would repurchase that one, and I think she has a pre-order. I'm going to see if, if that's in the pre-order. Now, Dessa's. I did two because of my open concept. I did sugar zucchini streusel, which is zucchini bread, sugar cookies, cinnamon streusel crumble. This is my favorite zucchini. I want more of that. That is my favorite blend. Another favorite I enjoyed from the advent was cranberry pear bliss bars, which is cookie batter, cranberries, autumn pear, white chocolate drizzle. This was so strong. It was so good. And then other ones from the advent. This advent was just so darn good. This is Christmas tree farm, fresh, Forest of Christmas Trees, Pine, Fraser Fir, Balsam, Evergreen, and Birch. The next one was Smoky Mountain Berries. I didn't like this because it's a berry scent. Fraser Fir, Bay Berry, Holiday Berries, Vanilla. It was just too strong. The one I did enjoy, and I've had this before, Cold Mountain, which is fresh fallen snow, white birch, warm winter woods, balsam, and cedar. I would repurchase that. That's why I'm setting it right there. And then we have some from Zape. I did um, is this? elf cookies. I want to grab all of my elf cookies. I did two different shapes, um, two different times at bedtime. This is sugar cookies, almond, macaroons, macarons, vanilla buttercream frosting. It was good. I wouldn't repurchase that. It's not a love. I did love this one, Bad Santa, which is fireplace embers, Christmas trees, cinnamon sticks. It was strong. I would repurchase that one. Tinselberry, I wouldn't repurchase. I used like two and a half bags of her shapes which are not I mean they're like 450 each it was light and I used that many that was disappointing it almost reminds me of Christmas trees or Christmas at Santa's from Sassy Girl but I couldn't even it was so light and then this one was a huge disappointment to my family um it is snowball fight it's crisp winter winter air fireplace smoke 
hints of crushed candy canes. I think it's the um the cider or the winter air. It's almost cider-ish because they said it smelled like dog pee. And I was like, no, it's what? So I went in there and it was this scent and my husband asked me to take it out. He doesn't generally ask me. There's only been a few times he's asked me to remove a scent. So I, again, I, and my kids also came in and it's all three of them, my younger kids said the same thing. And they said, please take that out. It, again, it's just their preference. It was good, performed well, but they just didn't like it. You can't please everybody, right? You know? Okay. A few plans I got through. I did um, Better Homes and Guarded sugar, Sugared Lavender Twist. This is a dupe, I think, for Scentsy Sugar. You can get this at Walmart, so if you don't have any sugar, this smells the same to me. Um, Super Tarts White Christmas. I didn't enjoy that one. I did it at bedtime. It's a peppermint cherry. I don't like it. I am sorry I forgot this in my Scentsy Empties. This is Silver Bells. This is Minty Candy Canes, Pear, Caramel, and Vanilla. Such a great blend. Patricia Gates recommended this. I absolutely love this. She is right. It's so good. Okay. Um, Rose Girls. Uh, the big disappointment we'll start with is Angels Among Us, which is blackberry jam, butter cookies, strawberry shortcake, saltwater taffy. I literally couldn't smell that. I didn't know what was in my warmers. I had to go look. I had it in for like four hours, five hours, and I'm like, I can't smell it. Sometimes if you let scents sit for like four hours, they'll all of a sudden you'll get the oils start developing. I don't know with my warmers, but I had that whole $9 bag, the whole bag, and I couldn't smell anything. But then this week I did gingerbread zucchini bread, and this was fabulous. You got the zucchini really strong, at, or I'm sure, the, I'm sorry, you got the gingerbread right away. And then as like four hours later, the zucchini started to come out. This was just so dang good. I would repurchase that one. And Crackling Birch Fluff Puffs. This is Crackling Birch and Monster Cookies. This is a favorite of mine. I've asked for this for a couple of times now and she hasn't reported. I really would like more of that. I think that was my last bag. I'm like 99% sure that was my last bag. Okay. Uh, let's do... Um, Swanky. This is a favorite scent of mine. This is Cozy Mittens Eggnog Sugar Cookie, Mrs. Claus Cookies. I already finished a loaf in this, um, like last winter and fall. And so I didn't want to use it all. So I should have at least one more melt with this. This is fabulous. I got this in March of 2022 in a sale she had. This is so good. Again, Cozy Mittens Eggnog Sugar Cookie, Mrs. Claus Cookies. I think somebody requested this in pre-order and I liked the comment because this is so dang good. I want more of that. That is like one of the, my only favorite eggnog blends. Okay, I feel like I'm missing some, but I, hopefully I got everything when that video cut out. Okay, then let's do um, Sassy Girl Aroma. This one was a big womp womp. This is maple gingerbread cake. It was more maple and it really wasn't strong at all. It was light in my open concept. Um, a favorite of mine, the, la the next two scents are, this is at the North Pole, which is sweet peppermint sticks with a creamy rich vanilla. That's exactly what this is. This is a creamy, dreamy, like whipped peppermint candy. It's not nose, it's not, it's not peppermint gum. It's literally the creamiest, dreamiest peppermint. If you love peppermint, this is a favorite of mine. This is probably the only peppermint I love as much as that one. Okay, I finished a brittle in Christmas at Santa's, which is the pepperberry wreath sugar cookies and marshmallow fireside. I cut up both of these loaves this week, but I wanted to show you this one. So I finished that one in my bedroom bathroom and then I wanted to warm this on Christmas day. I did at the North Pole in my bathroom bedroom and then I did this one in my main area. I just think it's so pretty and I absolutely love this. Then let's do um, Lavender and Speckles. So this one is Balsam Vanilla Woods. This is Balsam Fur and Ice Vanilla Woods. This is so strong. This was a souffle. Oh my gosh. So I did talk to Beth, the owner, and this new Harder Wax is her current wax. So if you get any that is super soft, she did, I did message her on Instagram for one reason and this, <laughs> for two reasons, I guess for two reasons. A, this is super strong and I wanted to ask her before I posted this video which wax is the current wax because she told me she changed the formula. So this is the current. This was so strong. It was smoky, yummy tree scent and that like really good smoky. And then I did Christmas mornings and this is the harder wax. This is balsam fir, cinnamon buns, sweet strawberry. This was great with like the tree and then the lovely cinnamon buns. Oh my gosh. 
And I did ask her if, like, are these the same kind of notes? You know, does she have any more that are similar to um, pine cones and spice? Um, just so you know, she is having, she's doing a restock, I believe, on January 3rd. And I, I have obviously already asked for this. This is pine cones and spice. This is roasted pine cones, cinnamon buns, and spice. This is the most amazing scent. You get like this rustic pine cone but then you get like this amazing cinnamon bun with like this hint of spice this is like just the most amazing scent if you got this and you've warmed it let me know your thoughts or do you have it coming or are you going to order it on the third it is so good please like if you're going to order from her get, grab that if you can another lovely blend that is going right now in my downstairs open concept i wanted to test to continue to test her scents so all of these have performed so strong for me um and so i put this in and i was this is my open concept it was a souffle with her softer wax i wanted to make sure i i have another um bag of this but i did not want to use it because i wanted to really test to see if her souffles would perform well in my open concept i was a little worried because i have a lot of warmers and it's a big huge space um, if you saw my warmer tour, you know, um, this is basically berry waffle cone. This is fabulous. If you love Bath and Body's berry waffle cone, this is so dang good. It just, the waffle cone in this is with the bear. Oh, so good. So, so good. Um, my son is going to play music. We're almost done. I'm sorry. Um, this was so good and it's still in my warmers right now. And I left to go ice fishing, came back and it's still like super, like I could smell it as soon as I walked to my house. Okay. Now let's go to Teddy B's Winterfell, which is Marshmallow Fireside, Palo Santo, White Birch, Icy Snow, and Vanilla. Such a great, great, great blend. I did this in my um, bedroom last night. It was so darn good. I'm going to work on finishing this one because this is from 10, 27, 21, and I have a new tub. So I'm going to work on finishing that one. And then I finished, I told you last time I was going to finish this, Christmas Trees and, or Strawberry Trees and Cream, which is Strawberry Pound Cake blended with Christmas Trees and Cream, which is a buttercream and tree note. This is phenomenal. I really want more of that specific blend. Um, I finished from last year, Old School Christmas. I want to, I want to ask for this again. This is so good. This is fresh pine, red apples, warm cinnamon, sugar crystals, and marshmallow cream. What I smell is like you have red apples, like not a Macintosh apple. I wish I could figure out what apple this is. Um, I'm just trying to think. You know what? It might, it's not a mat. It's not the same. It's more like a Cortland apple, like an apple that's, it's hard, but then when you bite into it, it has a little bit of softness in it. So not like as hard as a honey crisp. Um, and then you basically soaked it with pine and threw some spices. This is so dang good. This perform, I used this twice in my bedroom bathroom and I finished it. It was so good. And then because I was watching Carson's empties and he's talking about Teddy B's and he might not order from her and because he wants to warm his wax. So this is from this year. This is poured 1030 of 2022. This is in the pre-order that she did. And then she did a restock in December. This was my favorite, one of my favorites from the pre-order. This is an assortment of baked cookies, powdered sugar, buttercream, pine, and warm spices. So I did this in my bedroom though, because a lot of you said you like to do bakery scents in your bedroom. This was so good. It made me so happy. You can see how much I used in there. I cut that piece in four. It was so good. My son got a Bluetooth speaker. He won at work, so now he's gonna play it. So with that being said, this was a hit. I'm going to work on my baskets. I think if I didn't share this, maybe I will find out in editing. I did, but I had two of these size baskets from Hobby Lobby. I absolutely love these baskets from Hobby Lobby of Christmas scents, and I have worked it down to one basket. So looking at all these empties near me, if you've watched my other video, my um, Scentsy empties and unempties, and then this video, I got through a lot of wax in the last couple of weeks. Again, it's so great when I can look and when I put those baskets together in November and I had two full they were full like overflowing and now it's one basket that isn't overflowing it just makes me so happy to realize that I'm and I pulled other items too as you can see some of these weren't really Christmassy scents but I was just so happy to get through so much wax because I am on a low buy and just seeing how much you can actually get through was just, it felt great. Okay. That's what I'm going to say. It just felt great to get through. So I think I might go back out ice fishing with my kids. It he's my husband. And I texted him before because my 
I did this video and then I got up and my phone is dead. Didn't see it because I don't have the screen facing me. I have the, the cameras facing me. So I didn't see my phone died. So my husband sent me some videos and I said, well, how long are you going to be? And he said, he's going to stay till nine and it's only like five. So I think I might go back out for a couple hours. They have an ice shack. I'm going to post a video so you guys can kind of see what we're up to. Um, and, um, he, they're in the ice shack. So he's got a heater in there and food. And I might just sit and go take pictures because my teenage boys are here and they sit in the room and play musical instruments and listen to music. So I might just go back and sit on the ice and I will post a video of those probably maybe in the new year. So with that being said, I hope if you do go out tomorrow, please be responsible. Just make good choices. Like seriously, I always tell my kids when they leave the house, make good choices. I can only raise you and, and instill my values and like warnings, but you have to be the one who makes those choices. So please be responsible and make good choices tomorrow um, with drinking and driving and just please make good choices because you can change your whole life and destroy someone else's in a moment. Um, there's me being mom, <laughs> mom. And also I just wanna say thank you for commenting, liking and subscribing to my channel. I truly appreciate it so very much. You just. You have no idea. It's so nice to see people are enjoying my videos and my content and, you know, me. Um, and with that being said, I hope you have a wonderful, beautiful, blessed day. Bye. I'm welcome if you're a current subscriber. Welcome if... Blah. Hello. <laughs>